Now at six, since the beginning of this year, we've already had more tornadoes across the U.S. than we typically see in a full calendar year. Yeah, 10 TV meteorologist Ross Caruso is showing us why we're seeing more of this extreme weather. This Memorial Day will mark the four year anniversary of the tornado outbreak that occurred in 2019, spawning nearly two dozen tornadoes, including three EF3 tornadoes and one EF4 tornado, which had winds of 170 miles per hour and ripped through North Dayton late Monday night. We were trapped down there for a minute, but with the, uh, I was able to get the chimney out of the way where we could get out and we got up out of there, but by that time, as you can see, everything was pretty much, it went through in, in, in five minutes. It didn't take long. It went through and took everything out. This was a sobering reminder that not only do we see tornadoes at night, but we too get strong, violent tornadoes here in Ohio. While we have not seen an event quite like that since, this severe weather season has set records for the amount of tornadoes across the country for the first quarter of the year. Oh my God. It's like Oh my God. We have already had our fair share of tornadoes this year across the country and even here in Ohio with 23 confirmed tornadoes, which is one more than our yearly average. Scientists believe we are seeing changes in our severe weather across the country that climate models have been hinting at even here in Ohio. When you think about Tornado Alley, you probably think of Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, Nebraska, and that's because since the early 50s, that's where we saw most of the tornadoes occur across the country. But if you were to look at the data shift from the 50s to the 80s to that of the mid 80s to 2019, you would see that there has actually been a noticeable shift in the tornado frequency across the country. Dr. Harold Brooks is a senior research scientist at NOAA Laboratory in Norman, Oklahoma, and he was one of the scientists that noted this change in tornado frequency in a study back in 2018. And additional research suggests that we're not just seeing a shift in Tornado Alley. We have fewer days now than we did, say, 50 years ago with, with at least one F1 and stronger tornado occurring on it. But we have a lot more days that have a lot of tornadoes. Ian Giamanco is the lead research meteorologist for the Insurance Institute for Home Business and Safety. He says that this shift is pointing towards more vulnerable communities. We see more tornadoes that happen on outbreak days, all in an area that has a higher population density than what we're dealing with uh, in our past climate. Stephen Strader is a professor of geography and environment at Villanova University. He says climate change is not the cause most of the time, but is a contributor and can make impacts worse or more frequent. What you see is what's driving our disasters isn't necessarily always climate. It's more likely to be our societal changes. It's increasing cost of goods. It's increasing exposure, more people being exposed to hazards. But most cities and regions have grown and expanded over time. We refer to this as the expanding bullseye effect. It argues that as population grows and expand, there's just more stuff to hit tornadoes. We are no strangers to tornadoes here in Ohio. It doesn't matter what time of day it is, month or place. We have seen tornadoes throughout the entire calendar year. We have to learn to live with weather disasters, which is why it is so crucial to stay weather aware year round. That's why you can always depend on the Doppler 10 weather team to keep your family and property safe. Reporting for 10 TV News, I'm Dauber 10 meteorologist Ross Caruso.